A firm certainly has an attractive business model, not one that I particularly agree with, not one that I think is good for society at large, and certainly I don't think the market or the world needs any more leverage in the financial system. The whole buy now, pay later thing I think is just going to wreak havoc for consumers in the long run. That being said, a lot of consumers obviously are already stretched and an offer like a firm for a lot of retailers, especially those online, it makes a lot of sense for them to include it as part of their checkout procedure. That being said, a lot of analysts love the stock and believe that the stock is going to be worth an absolute fortune up ahead. However, what is the stock worth today and more importantly, is it worth investing into? Let's find out. <music> So the stock is currently trading at $13.08 and if we go back and have a look at the historicals on the stock, uh, we can see the stock peaked out at one point at $39.91 and uh, of course uh, this is of course looking over the most recent period. If we go back a little bit further, we can see the stock traded up at a crazy valuation at one point at the 165 price point. And of course, it has fallen dramatically since then, down to $13.08. And you guys know what I'm going to say. It's not a surprise because the P ratio is currently non-existent. Why? Say it with me, because it's a shit stock. Now, if we have a look at uh, price to book most recent quarter, 1.51. Price to sell, 2.63. Price to free cash flow sitting at negative 6.3. Looking at the analyst ratings on the stock, we've got three buy ratings, five hold and one sell rating. Looking at that financial overview, we've got a market cap of 3.8 billion, enterprise value of 5.4, and no dividend on the stock for obvious reasons. Looking at revenue, trading 12 months, 1.44 billion, debt in the most recent quarter, 4.37, equity sitting at 2.5, net income is negative 652, and cash on hand, 2.7 billion. Of course, free cash flow is also in the red at negative 602.64 million. Look at the shares outstanding. We've got 290 million shares outstanding. We've got an insider holding at 5.42%, which is really good. But the short interest on the stock, guys, is uncomfortable. 14.49% and rightfully so. Institutional holdings sitting at 18.88, uh, sorry, 83.57%. So very strong institutional holding in the stock. Uh, if we look at our cash flow statements, uh, it ain't looking pretty. Operating cash flow, negative 71 million, negative 193 million, negative 162 million, negative 476 million. Free cash flow is pretty much a similar picture. Negative 92, negative 213, negative 273, negative 602. So definitely ain't looking pretty. If we look at the balance sheet, uh, big disconnect here, 1.4 billion, 4.8, 6.9, 7.17 7 billion. And then if we look at that equity, they've got negative 367 uh, million up to 2.5 billion in the space of 2020 to the trading 12 months. So <laughs> the equity has increased dramatically, but of course, has this come because of them making money? Let's look at the income statement. Top line revenue 509, 870 million to 1.35 billion to 1.45 billion. Gross profit 337, 540, 772, and 768.97 billion. Now I've got to point out immediately that the gross profits are really good. 1.44 billion, and you've got a gross profit of 768 million. That is really something that most businesses would be very happy with. If you're looking at the operating income, though, if you're new to this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and then drop me a comment down below and say subscribed and I will personally acknowledge your comments and respond to you down below. Just ain't pretty guys. They've gone negative 107, negative 379, negative 866, negative 987. So please explain this. They have gone gross profit, 768 and then on the operating income, negative 987. Uh, and this is from a financial business. <laughs> it is fucking mind altering. Net income, negative 112, negative 430, negative 707, negative 652. Uh, they're managing this kind of like uh, they manage their purse when they go to a casino and specifically probably because it's not their money. Negative is negative 0 0.54, negative 1.78, negative 2.51, negative 2.3 on the earnings per share. Uh, just an absolute shit show 
uh, from everything below gross profit. So they've, like a lot of these businesses, doing great on top line, doing great on gross profit, and then just when it comes to expenditure, things have turned to shit on the operatings and net incomes. So if we come down to our fundamental score, uh, P ratio, non-existent, net margin, negative 45, they have positive equity, you guys know why, because people have put money into the stock, and if we're looking at the shareholder dilution, say it with me, people are getting diluted because the company's not making money, and the only way to raise money is to issue more shares, so of course there's going to be shareholder dilution. Debt. Debt to equity, 170%. My God, not producing profit and we are taking on debt. Current ratio, <laughs> 34.42 and uh, free cash flow to debt, negative. So 33% on debt. Momentum, 33%. Top line and gross profit, like I mentioned, really looking great. And then it just turns to liquid shit as we get to operating cash flow, net income, operating cash flow, and free cash flows. They're just not translating anything in terms of money. Uh, if this were my company and I had an incompetent board of directors and a financial team running a business like this, I would fucking fire their asses. Look at growth, uh, return on equity, negative 26, return on asset, negative 9.81, return on invested capital, negative 15, and the earnings per share, well, it's also in the shitter. Now, guys, I have to point out, and I say this as an entrepreneur, I say this as a business owner, I say this as somebody who runs multiple businesses and looks at financials every single day of my life. I look at my cash flow statements, I look at my income statements, I look at my balance sheets every single day of my life. And I look at these numbers and I go, what kind of fucking management team produces 1.4 billion rand in revenue, translates into 768 a million rand in gross profit and then fails to produce a net income out of it, fails to even produce operating income out of it. Something is fundamentally wrong. Something is fucked when I look at this. Uh, it just doesn't make sense, right? So if we have a look at those summaries, fundamental shit, debt shit, momentum shit, growth shit, absolutely shit. I just... I, I cannot fathom how this is allowed to happen. Just a quick note, if you would like to be notified as soon as we make our Stock Screen app available to the public, go ahead and go to stockscreen.app. Click on that dollar icon. It will open up the waiting list. Enter your name and email address, and we will notify you as soon as we open this up to the public. If you're looking for the link, you can find it in the description down below. Then... If we come down and have a look at our valuation metrics, of course, we cannot run any because they're not producing a profit. You can't value a company that isn't making money. Now, of course, people argue with me and they say, you can look at different things. You can look at the asset base. You can look at equity. You can look at all sorts of things. You can also look at a crystal ball and pull a number out your ass, but it isn't meaningful. The bottom line is, if you want to have an actual value based on fact, you need to buy a company that produces a profit. And so the question I always ask you as the investor is if I come to you to sell you a business outright that isn't making money, what would you be prepared to pay for it? Think about that for a second because that's exactly what investors are doing with these dumb fucking stocks. So if we come back here and have a look at what the analysts are saying on the stock. Revenue is forecast to grow by 22% per year. Highly volatile share price over the last three months. Currently unprofitable and not forecast to become profitable over the next three years, which is mind-bending considering the amount of revenue they're producing and shareholders have been diluted in the past year. No shit, Sherlock. Now, if we look forward to the analyst ratings on the stock, they believe that the stock is going to trade at 23 bucks in the next 12 months, which is a potential 76% upside. And... Uh, Good luck to those investors invested and speculating on the stock. It is a big outside bet. Uh, you really have to understand the business and the business models. And if you're in there, you've got to be seeing something outside of the fundamentals. You really have to understand the business. And I guess you have to be somewhat self-defeating in terms of the entire structure of the world. If you believe the world needs more leverage, if you believe the financial system needs more leverage, if you believe uh, consumers need to be indebted more, if you believe that we just need to keep fucking up the dollar even more than it's already fucked, 
then uh, this is your stock, guys. This is the business you need to invest into if you want to keep seeing more erosion out of the fundamental paper value that really has no value at the moment in terms of our monetary system. So for that reason, I'm going to wipe my ass with this stock and I'm out. Thank you.